Hey, Kat here. We're going to have a quick look today at another type of object, and it's an image object. Uh, this one didn't really require drawn explanation, so we're going to hop straight into the code. Uh, images are another type of object, and we can just create them and put them into our code. So I've just got a basic applet here. I've put that in my Java Basic Objects project folder. Now if I want to insert an image, first of all I need to declare I'm going to have something of the image object type. So I declare an image. Now I have to give this image a name. So I happen to have a poster, so I'm going to use the word poster. Make sure that um, you actually own the images that you're putting into your work here. Now I'm going to use an image called poster. Now just to show you what that one is, it's on my desktop here and it's a poster that a student made for me. Now I need to actually have that in a specific location for Eclipse to work with it. So I'm just going to go to where all my all my resources are and for me in Documents is a folder called Workspace. My project folder is Java Basic Objects and I need to put my poster in the bin folder. So I'm just going to drag that across there. If it's not in the bin folder of that project, it will not be able to be accessed by Eclipse. So you must make sure it is in there. The file types that Java can work with, at the least there's GIF JPEG and PNG. Uh, there may be others. Uh, do some googling for that, but GIF, JPEG and PNG are the most common ones anyway. Okay, so I've declared I'm going to have an image and I'm calling it poster. So that's my declaration. I now need my instantiation and initialization. And this one is a little bit different to other objects. We don't have the equals new. So we're going to say poster equals get image because that image already exists we just need to find it. Then we need to use the code get document base and then comma space and then in quotes we need the exact file name. So mine was rules poster dot jpg. Now be aware sometimes with the jpegs it's jpeg and sometimes it's JPG. Just double check, make sure this is exactly your file name. Okay, semicolon to end the line. And then in paint, we go back to using our graphics object, which is G, and we're going to, in this case, draw an image. In the brackets, okay, there are lots of possible arguments. We're not going to use that many. We are going to give it the name which was, in my case, poster. We're going to tell it where on the screen we want it to start drawing. So start drawing the top left corner. I'll go with 2020. And also pop in the word this. That's referring to this instance of that. So let's run it and have a look. And there is my poster in my applet. Your picture will not appear if your file name is incorrect and also if it's not in the bin folder. Now let's say I think that that image is too big or too small or whatever. I can also manipulate the width and the height of this, but first of all I need to know the width and the height. So what I could do is I could declare an integer and say width and I can from my image, I can get the width of my image. Now in the brackets there, we also need to put this again, telling it we're referring to this instance. We're also going to get the height. And also replace that with this. Then if I wanted to, I could draw the image again. I'm just going to copy that and paste it. And I could make it smaller. I might do width divided by 2. Let's just be a little bit silly and do height times 2. So I'm going to make it really narrow and really tall. 
completely destroying the aspect ratio of the picture. Let's just run that one. And it hasn't appeared. Let's just try dividing them both by two and just commenting out that first one. I know what I've done. I forgot to also add in the position. Sorry about that. So if I want to mess with the width and the height, I need to have the name, the starting position, then the changes to the width and the height, and then the word this. So let's just run that again. Sorry about that. Okay, so it's made a smaller version. Let's again try and do my ridiculous drawing of half the width and double the height. There we go. Terribly distorted, but we know that we can manipulate the width and the height by using, by first getting the width and the height and then by changing them. Um, I could have just to quickly mention, I've done my calculations or my changes in here. If I wanted to, I could have said width is equal to width divided by 2. And then put that new version of width in here. I can put calculations in here or I can do them outside. That is up to you what you would like to do. I'm just going to leave that one. Okay. So that is how you would insert an image into your applet. And don't forget, if you're one of my students, you need to follow my classroom rules.